hey guys welcome back so in the last couple of videos we have been building an e-commerce web application in the first video we looked at the project overview what are the functional and non-functional requirement of the website and in the second one we started designing our architecture so finally we came up with this architecture and today we are going to start implementing this let me show you there are a couple of parts the first one is related to the front end and we have the back end part as well and then we have the database and the elastic search service which is our persistent layer so let's start with our front end first so quick recap in the front end the users can log into the web application which is hosted in s3 bucket they can type in their username and password and through cognito they will be authenticated and once they are authenticated they will be directed to cloudfront the cdn and through the cdn they will get access to the web application which is in a s3 bucket so let's get started so i'm going to start with a web application which is an angular application so let's go to angular cli and let's generate an angular application with the cli okay, these are the commands now let me take a terminal and in the terminal let me see where am i okay i will go into my desktop and i will create a directory let's call the directory by the name of our application's name and we'll call it e by like uh, ebay and let me just see the into ebay okay and i'm going to create a new application using ng new command and i'm going to pass few other flags as well let me type ng new ebay which is the name of our application and I'm going to enable routing so I will type dash dash routing so I'm and I'm going to set styles as CSS let me quickly double check the command I will go to get started and there I should see the additional command the engineer and these are the options that I can pass to so it is dash dash style not style and we used routing already and let's use skip tests as well right so let me go here so it's not test just style and i will skip all the tests file and then hit enter now it's going to create my application give it a second i will fast forward this all right it's created let me list directories and i will go to e by and let me open it with visual studio code by typing code space period so that will open up we can run the application by typing ng serve or npm run start now let's install amplify library as we have already discussed we are going to use amplify library to connect with these backend services so let's go to amplify you can simply search amplify aws into google and you should see the first link here click on that so that will take you to aws amplify frontend library and it has these really great features you can explore the other later but i want to do here is to go to docs of javascript so that will take me to this page and under get started let's follow these steps first i need to install amplify cli globally so just copy the command and go back to your cli and paste it in and hit enter that will install your cli i already installed it so if i type amplify dash v you should see the version there you go i have 0.1.28 okay and let's follow the instructions now we can do amplify configure 
So this is basically creating an IAM user in order to work with Amplify library because Amplify library is involving with creating resources and managing that. So in order to do that, you have to create an user and that process is made simple by Amplify library. So what you can do here and you can type in this command Amplify configure and hit enter. And that's going to open up your AWS console. Can you see? Sign into AWS administrator account. So it will open up automatically. I logged in. So you guys can also log in. And what does it say? Sign into your AWS console. Press enter to continue. Okay, let's hit enter. Okay, then it asks me to specify the AWS region. So I'll select US East 1, North Virginia. And now it asks me to specify the username of a new IAM user, e by. <laughs> okay, so that's my username. And that will automatically redirect me back to the IA management console. You see it picked up the username from the CLI and automatically fill it here. And I can set the programmatic access. Click next. So it has automatically selected the administrator as well. So this permission law, let's keep it as it is and review it and create the user. Okay, user is created. Now let's go back to the terminal, hit enter. I did that. Now it's asking me to enter the access key and secret access key. So here's our access key. Let me copy it. Come here, paste it in, hit enter. Secret key. Okay, I'm going to fast forward this. Okay, I entered the both. And then it asks me whether I need to have a profile. Yep. I need so we'll call this profile eBuy so that will create a profile in my local machine and set these two keys as well okay the successfully set up the new user very nice and very easy let me clear up the screen so I'm back in the documentation so next let's configure our angular application with amplify so in order to do that I will go to angular and ionic section under framework support let me click on this and it will show me a bunch of commands in order to add the amplify libraries so these are the commands so let me go into our project directory open up an integrated terminal let me see where am I yep, I'm at the correct directory and I will paste in this command and I will hit a space let's install the other one together with this so I will copy in the AWS Amplify Angular library and paste it in as well. What about the other one? It's Ionic Angular. I don't need it. So these two and hit enter. So that will download the NPM packages belonging to these two libraries and install it. Give it a second. All right. So it has installed these two libraries. So let's go into the documentation. And now let's initialize a backend project by typing amplify in it. Let me just copy in the command. Let me paste it in and hit enter. So this is going to ask me a series of questions. All right, the first question is, choose your default editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code and I picked it. Hit enter. What type of application you're building? It is a JavaScript application. What type of JavaScript you are using? The framework, it's Angular. And now it's asking about the source directory path, well, it's SRC, so I will accept the default. And distribution directory path, when you build it, where does the build file goes to? So it goes to a folder called dist, of course, but it will create another subfolder called eby. So I will add that subfolder as well, dist slash eby and hit enter. Build command, yep, accept the default start command ng serve accept the default and it's going to ask me am i going to use an aws profile i say yes so what profile so i think i named it e by so let me select that one okay so it's going to initialize the project in the cloud so that will take a few minutes so let me fast forward it so amplify is using cloud formation 
to create all those resources. So basically it's going to create some IAM roles and deployment packages, etc. And finally it has given me some instructions. Okay, so let's go into our diagram. So this was our architecture diagram. So now that we have configured Amplify, we can start spinning up these resources. No? So I'll start with the web application and the authentication layer. So we'll create a web application on S3 bucket and serve it through a CloudFront distribution. So those two services will be spin up by one of those commands in Amplify. And also there's a separate command for auth as well. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, I'm going to clear the screen. Okay, I'm going to type amplify dash dash help. So that will give me all the configurations, all the commands the Amplify has. And if you can see at the bottom, it shows me the categories of services that it supports. So under that you have hosting and auth. Hosting is related to creating an S3 bucket for your application and deploy that and serve it through CloudFront distribution. So let's enable that. So in order to enable that, you can use this command. So let's type it, amplify, and then the category name, which is hosting, thing, and finally the add command. We type it and hit enter. So then it asks me, not sure if you guys can see this. Let me, Okay, so then it asks me, is this a dev environment or a prod environment? So basically, I will select the prod environment because it will configure an S3 bucket and have the cloud front using HTTPS. So we can later configure our custom domains as well. So I chose the second option, the prod one and hit enter. And it's asking me for a bucket name. I will call it e by commerce app or any name you want make sure it's unique so where am I index file so it's index.html and for the error documentation I select index.html which is the default one well basically that's a neat little trick that we do in order to make sure users do not get any nasty error pages all right so that is configured now it says you can publish your app using the following command amplify publish so let's do that i will type amplify publish hit enter so it's giving me the categories that i'm going to publish so it's basically hosting and it creates s3 and cloudfront using cloud formation i will type yes and accept it hit enter now it's going to take some minute and create those resources. So let's fast forward it. It's taking some time. So it took me around 10 minutes and now it has completed setting up the S3 bucket and the CloudFront distribution. The reason why it took some time is to, it had to wait until the CloudFront distribution went from in progress to completed status that will probably take around 10 to 15 minutes so in my case it took me around nine minutes and afterwards it will upload my code into the s3 bucket and then it will give me an hosting endpoint that is the cloud front endpoint where i can view the web application now you see it has built my project locally after it has created all these resources and now it's uploading the files into the S3 bucket. So let's give it another minute until it uploads it. And once uploading is completed, it should open up the web application automatically. And there you go. It opens up the web application by using the S3 endpoint. And furthermore, of course, we can launch our application using the CloudFront endpoint as well. Let me just click on that so that should also deliver our application let's see if that works yeah great it works so this is our cloud front endpoint 
and this is our S3 endpoint. So by now, Amplify has configured the S3 and the CloudFront and also the Route 53. So it has configured all these three services and in addition to that it has uploaded the web application content into the S3 and it gave us the endpoints to access that as well. So we have the CloudFront endpoint and the S3 endpoints. Awesome. So I think it's totally worth to wait that minutes, like 10 to 15 minutes, because it configured all these three services and finally gave us the endpoints to access our web application. Right, next, let's configure Cognito, which is our authentication and authorization service.